Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can create a, um, a mesh that you can use for example in a car grill like in this uh, example here. Now I've been looking at uh, various tutorials and trying to figure out how to do that and it's always been a pretty intensive, uh, labor-intensive thing to do. And uh, I think I came up with a little twist on how you can do that. So that's what I want to show you today. Now, I'm not going to uh, model this grill in this tutorial, uh, but I will show you how to create this effect. So we're just going to get rid of this image here. Let's delete that. Okay, so first thing you do is you model a solid shape that, you know, uh, is similar to the car grill that you're creating. And later on, we're going to create a mesh on top of that object and then delete the object. That's kind of the uh, idea here. So in this case, I'm just going to create a simple polygon uh, cube, something like that, and just pull that up. And now I'm going to go to my top view, like so. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to create, select EP curve tool, and I'm going to start about here and I'm just going to create a diagonal line like that and hit enter. Now, while that line is selected, I'm going to hit control D to duplicate that once. Pull that down, something like that. And now I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate that all the way down. Do something like that. All right. And I'm going to hit enter. All right, now I'm going to go to create EP curve tool again. I'm going to select the line something like that and something like that. And I'm going to hit enter again. Again, control D, hit W to move it down just a little bit, something like so, and then shift D all the way down. Okay, so as you can see, you got this uh, crossed mesh area that covers my entire cube from the top. Okay, so um, I'm going to hit Q to get out of that. Okay, go back to my perspective mode. And I'm going to select the entire mesh that I created and hit W. I'm going to pull that straight up like so. And how high is not very relevant, but just something like that. Okay. Now the thing is we need to project that onto this uh, cube here. So how do we do that? First of all, make sure you got the entire um, CV of EP curves that you created selected and shift select the cube as well. Now the next thing is very important. Before we project these uh, this mesh, we need to make sure that we're in the top view because it will project from the viewing angle that you're in. So if we stayed in this view and we would project it, you would only hit part of the uh, cube or maybe not even anything at all. So we're going to go to our top view. And here you can clearly see that it's covering everything. They're both selected. And now I'm going to, I'm going to go back to my polygons menu here. I'm going to um, edit mesh project curve on mesh like so we're going to go back to our uh, perspective view and as you can see it has been projected on top here now if we pull that up you can see that you can actually move that so that's what we're going to do right now and i want to delete these two here but first i need to delete the history otherwise everything will be gone so we're going to go to uh, edit, delete by type, and select history. And now we can drag, select this stuff here, and delete it. Okay. So again, this is the mesh that you created. And I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Problem is, if you want to render this out, you won't see anything. And I'll just prove that to you. Okay. Completely black screen because this is not an object of any sort. Okay. 
Now, I've seen tutorials with examples that were really complicated by, you know, transforming these into a paintbrush and then changing the size one by one or scripting it, which in itself is a great tutorial, but, um, you know, I'm not too good in scripting, so I had to figure something else out. Okay, so now that we've got this, we're going to drag select all of it. We're going to hit Control G to group it. So that's uh, done. And now we're going to go to our surfaces menu. We're going to go to surfaces. We're going to go to bevel and we're going to hit the option box like so. And for my width and my depth, I'm going to do an input of 0 0.03 and same here, 0 0.03. And the rest is all just the way it was. And I'm going to hit bevel. And now, if I, um, I'm just going to select that whole thing and just move that out so I can get rid of my curve lines. So the left is my bevel, the right is my curve lines. I want to. Oh, just like that. Looks like I got everything. I should be able to delete that. There we go. Okay. So now we should be able to render this. And there we go. Now, I'm just going to show you roughly what this could look like in a grill. So I'm going to create a quick ground plane. Right click on that. Assign new material, go with a Fong E. Don't pay too much attention uh, to this part. I'm going to drag select this whole thing here. Right click on that. Assign new material. I'm going to assign a Chrome material. So MIA material underscore X, like so. Go to my material tab. Go to presets, Chrome and replace all right just going to make my ground plane a little bit bigger create some quick lights so create uh, where's my lights my lights 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 create lights point light hit W pull that up pull that out something like that Hit Control D to duplicate it. Move it over a little bit. Shift select both lights, like so. Go to my uh, Point Light Shape tab. Go into my Depth Map Shadow attributes and select Use Depth Map Shadows. All right. I'm gonna zoom in quite a bit. Something like that. Go to my Render Settings now. Because I use the MIA material, I have to select Mental Ray because it's a Mental Ray material. In my quality settings, I'm just going to bump that up to about 1, something like that. And if you got a previous version of Maya, you will have a different setting here. Then you can go for production quality. I'm going to go to my Common tab, and I'm going to increase this to HD 1080. And now should I, I should be able to render. So I'm just going to pause the video a second so you guys don't have to wait for that. And I'll be back with you in a second. All right, guys, as you can see, the uh, the render is done and you can clearly see that it's an uh, open mesh. So, uh, you know, feel free to use this in your models. Uh, you can use it like for these little screens and cell phones. You can use it for car grills and anything else you can come up with. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section and likes and subscriptions are really, really appreciated. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.